Now, shall we move on to our next experiment? Our next experiment is called density and weight of a substance. So this experiment is going to demonstrate that subjects with high density are heavier and subjects with low density are lighter. So we learned density in the previous experiment. Now we are going to learn the relation of density and weight of a substance. Let us see the things we need to perform this experiment. You will need two balloons, two glasses of water, you will need cold water and hot water. So kindly get the help of an adult because you are using hot water. So you will need two glasses with hot water and cold water and you will need some extra cold water. So shall we get started? I am now going to fill both the balloons with cold water. I am using a funnel for this. So I'm filling balloon A and balloon B with cold water. I'm securing it with a rubber band. You can use a string also. So my red balloon is balloon A. It is filled with cold water. Next, I am taking balloon B, the pink balloon, and I am filling this also with cold water. Be careful not to spill anything. So balloon A and balloon B are filled with cold water. I am using a rubber band to secure them. You can see that they are of the same size. Now they both are of the same size. Next, we have our two glasses, one with hot water and one with cold water. Glass A has hot water and glass B has cold water. So now I'm going to put these balloons into these two glasses and let us see what happens. You will observe that the water filled balloon in the hot water jar sinks to the bottom of the jar while the balloon in the cold water jar keeps floating. This happens because cold water is denser than hot water. Materials with high density are heavier than materials with low density. Therefore, the cold water filled in the balloon is heavier than the hot water in the jar and makes the balloon sink to the bottom of the jar. So I hope you understood this experiment and now you know why one balloon sinks while the other floats. So now you have all understood the concept of density and its relation to the weight of the substance. So once again, let me tell you what we did in this experiment. The things you will need are two glasses, some hot water, some cold water and two balloons. So we started by filling the two balloons with 
cold water. And then we filled our two glasses with hot water and cold water. Glass A had hot water and glass B was filled with cold water. Next, we immersed both the balloons into glass A and B. And what did we notice? The balloon in glass A immediately sinked to the bottom. The balloon in glass B did not sink but floated above the surface. Why did this happen? This is because hot water is less dense than cold water and substances that are less dense are lighter than the substances that are more dense. This caused one balloon to sink and the other balloon to float. So the concept here is density and its relation to the weight.